Hello everyone, this is Budgie Zarko and you're currently watching a video on how to draw a certain type of chibi. I say a certain type because there are lots of different types, so I'll just focus on one. Not super deformed, so you can still see like the legs and arms, they're not little stumps, but it's definitely something. So what was I doing? Okay, yeah. So now I will just get to it, I guess. Um, one thing I want to point out right now is that I'm using a drawing tablet. A lot of people tend to miss that part. So when they're trying to use a smoothing function over here, it doesn't work because uh, it doesn't work with uh, a mouse for some reason. I don't know why. Programming must be weird. But, yep. I am using the airbrush tool right now with the smoothing or stabilization of three because smoothing and stabilization are the same thing also. That's another question I tend to get a lot. And I guess I should just talk about what I'm doing, which is bad so far. Um, yeah. So, start off with a circle, more circular than you usually would for a more realistic thing. And this little doobly-doo right here shouldn't be there, because chibis tend to not have chins. Very smooth. So it adds to the effect. Um, so, yeah. Control T to move things, enter to get out of it, or to accept it, you can press escape to get out of it. And what I'll use right now is a system of, just a second, I'm going to rotate it. Okay, that was also Control T, just drag on the outside to rotate. And what I'll use right now to measure and get proportions right is a head length. So this is one head length from top to bottom. Okay, new layer. Airbrush. Just mark the top and bottom. Make sure that you're on your new layer. Control T, move it to the side. Now press Q, or whatever you have set to duplicate layer, to duplicate that layer. You move it down. Press Q again. T, do, 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 down. And you can press Control and E to combine those layers. Um, yeah. Oh, one extra thing is you can look at these on the bottom here just to see what I'm holding on to right now. Just the various buttons that I use to do things. Okay, and now I'll call this ruler. And usually when I do the chibi, it'll be about one and a half, no not one and a half, two and a half heads tall, which means that her feet are going to be right here. And this is useless. <laughs> okay, now since I drew the whole thing a little bit small for this canvas size. I'm going to move it on to a folder, control T that entire folder, and then shift to keep the ratio, and drag it out. And now, I guess I'll keep the folder. It doesn't really mess things up at all. Sketch. And now, do -do -do -do, airbrush again. So what I like to do here is well, I guess the ruler is kind of useless now, so I'm just going to make it a little faded, and for the rest of it, I'll just do it directly on the sketch layer. Now what I just did is I, this is where her feet will be ended, or where her feet will end, I don't know, and here is where the crotch is. Yep. Crotch, crotch, crotch. And here is where the booby line is. <laughs> Maturity. I don't need 
that. And here's a net. Now, one thing that I like to do here is for the upper torso, about the uh, the height from the top of her shoulders to the boob line, which I call it the chest line, I guess. Yeah, let's just say that is about the same distance as it is from uh, side to side of the chest. So this is just chest, no arms yet. And that generally works for most drawings, even regular size, non-chibi drawings. And now I'm going to make it a little that shoulders, her right shoulder will droop a little more just because I already have a pose down. Um, let's draw a middle line. Hmm. Actually, I don't know what my pose is. I guess I'll make it a little that way. Shoulders are a little that way. Hips are gonna be kind of weird because shoulders usually go in the same direction as the hip or opposite direction but whatever do that. and then you got the hip coming out over there and let's try to make this no more and let's see where are her legs gonna go one's gonna be straight down the other one's gonna be off to the side alrighty it's a bit wide on the waist so I'll put that down a bit erase her tool there. Knees are about halfway through the whole, uh, the whole leg, but a little above if you want to take into account the uh, knee. No, not knee. The actual foot. There's that. There's that. Let's keep going down. These don't have to be too pretty because draw clothes later and to keep with the chibi style the feet are just little nubbins nubbin 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 sorry if i sound a little weird right now because i am sick which seems like everyone's always sick when they're doing tutorials which is a strange thing voice is a little low a little more absent-minded than usual and I'm not sure if I can draw as well as usual, but I'll do my best for you, the viewer. Hopefully there are viewers. Hello. Should I fast forward through this? I'm not sure. This is looking awkward. Mm. Whatever. We'll make this look nice. Regardless. Okay, little arms. Make sure that the elbow is about in line with the hip. Because just think about, or just, I don't know, notice your own elbow and where it is. It's usually right around that midsection. If you saw what I was doing just now, you would know what I'm talking about, but I'm not recording myself, I'm just being a weirdo. And here's the other elbow line with the shoulder as the center of that, of course. The radius, not the radius, the center of the radius, radial arm. I don't want to go back to school. Uh, math and physics and physics and math. I'm always complaining about those on these videos. But it makes me feel better. Okay. 
Trying to go as fast as I can, I'm sorry. But don't worry, I won't be offended if you fast forward. Very much. Okay. This is... I already drew a sort of a plan of what I'm gonna draw right now on paper with pencil. And oh my goodness, that plan looks so much better than this right now. It's, it's unbelievable how gross this is. But we'll, we'll come through. Maybe it's because this one doesn't have clothes yet. And his shoulders are huge for some reason. Chibis don't have huge shoulders. Oh no. Some chibis don't have shoulders at all. Some don't have elbows either. I like that style. That super simplified one where you don't have to worry about any of these curvy things. The curves. Okay. That looks like it's ready for eyes, I guess. Now, since this is still only the sketch, which is kind of disgusting because Oh, there's still the rest of the video to go. I don't know where that sentence was leading at all. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The eyes aren't going to look nice right now, but we will get some nice looking eyes later. Hopefully, if I'm still able to make nice eyes. Now she's looking to the left with the chibi eyes. I tend to deviate from my usual... Uh, circular iris that I usually do. If you look at my other drawings or videos, you'll notice that the irises are always, most of the times at least, are circular. But with this chibi thing, make them nice and oblong. That's a great word. Oblong. Yeah? <laughs> and that is that one thing about the tablet is I can't rotate the tablet or I can but it's weird so I guess I'll just rotate this I don't know why I even started that sentence I was doomed to start with and no nose because you're chibi and mouth goes right between the thing and the th oh I didn't say where this stuff is so with the chibi, uh, no hair yet. The hair will poof the head up a bit more. But this center line here is right between the top of the head and the chin. And for chibi, I make the eyes about half of this lower space, so about the fourth of the, the height of a head. Oh, too many words. And just fit them between there. Eyes are usually about one eye apart. And just kind of eyeball it. <laughs> eyeball your eyes, that's weird. And the mouth is over here. She's happy because she's part of a tutorial. And my computer is unhappy because it's lagging. And she's feeling left out, I guess. Shouldn't feel left out, it's making the tour. The tutorial with me. Happy Chibi. One eyebrow up because slightly quizzical. This eyebrow will be over there. Let's add glasses because glasses make things look smart. Ugh, I'm sick. I don't like this. And the other one there. Oh no. The asymmetry is gonna kill me. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. What's happening? Okay. That's there. It's gonna go. There. My computer's gonna lag a little because, you know, it's just a normal thing to do. And, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, lag, lag, where's my dot, come back, and okay, I guess 
glasses have to be semi-realistic, so we're going to have a little bridgey thing here. Top of the glasses aren't actually drawn in because it's, I guess, what's the word? Inconvenient for the sake of a drawing, usually, for me at least. So, just leave that out a little. I don't know why I drew that part in so much. Um, then we're still on the airbrush. That's control alt drag. And let's get a little bit of color in there. If we can get past this little lag spike, which is beautiful. Beautiful lag. Oh my gosh. Gah. Airbrush. Brush with air. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Okay, and now eraser for a little shiny spot. Shiny spot. Skinny shiny spot. Skinny shiny spot. Slightly shiny. Actually, this is deviating from the. Oh my gosh, I'm being called! I'll be back in two seconds. And I'm back. Well, apparently, terrible things happened, and that little. Uh, what, what am I saying? Um, 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 um. Okay, I got the phone call. He said, I'll call back in 10 minutes. And I was like, okay, it was a useless phone call because I'm just going to get another phone call in 10 minutes. And then I drew for however many minutes, I guess 10 minutes. And then he called again. And I was like, okay. So I stopped the recording and it corrupted the last file. And I think the only difference is she has hair and a hoodie now and some glasses. No, the glasses were there last time. I don't know, but that's pretty much, yeah, just think of it as a time lapse that you just never saw. I didn't talk about anything important either because, you know, Budgets are cool. Never talking about anything important here. <laughs> One good thing. Apparently there's like this really crazy thing I can do to recover the file. But figured that it wasn't worth it for the amount of effort it would take to re recover that little bit of terrible video. Because, yeah, partway through it, I was just like, oh, can't think of anything to say, so I'll just not say anything instead of the usual babbling, which I'm not sure if it's better or worse, but it's definitely something, right? Um, so that was just me babbling a little more. I'm going to make this thing. I don't like it. Okay, let's try that again. That, that, there, there, and go down to the bottom. That, that. All right, now I'm just adding parts of the hoodie. Like the little zipper line. Zip lines are fun. I want to go on one. And not fall off because that would be uncomfortable. without me knowing it. I just talk to myself, talking to myself, talking to myself, talking, talk, talking, talking. My parents think I'm crazy because I'm in my room talking to myself. Da, 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 da. Did I say that I'm sick yet? Because I am. Just to let you know. And alright, I got even more news for you. It did the same thing. So, I think now we're missing like a minute of video. 
Which is also fine because I wasn't talking about anything there either. Oh man, I gotta, I don't know, rehearse or something. So I have things to talk about. Or at least try to fit more, more actual teaching or learning or tutorial like stuff into these videos, but apparently I'm incapable of such a feat. And yep, little leg things because you know fashion is a thing. So a little dangle dongles. Because that's what these are called. You know, in high school people used to pull on my dangle dongles all the time. It's quite frustrating when it would make my hood bunch up on my neck. Because I never actually put my hood on. Because I have a big head, I think. Or maybe the hoodie had a small hood. Nah, I think I have a big head. <sighs> the woes of high school. And we're gonna go here, move the entire thing down a little bit. Because now she needs one of those funny otaku like hoods so she can have ears <laughs> yep ears 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 I actually haven't thought about how these are physically structured so I don't know what I'm drawing right now ah stitching maybe stitching 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 gonna be honest with you right now I'm being very useless in terms of tutorial teaching right now I'm just kind of yeah. uh, making noises and drawing and telling you about how laggy my computer is which is pretty interesting to me but I don't know what you think it is hey it doesn't look terrible anymore or maybe it does I don't know yeah it looks like a thing Chibi-ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big head. Shiny eyes. Round. Kinda like the round eyes. And... Thing, thing, thing. No racial pun intended. Actually, I'm not sure that was a racial pun. I'm just... Yeah, you gotta... Can't be too safe, right? She's gonna have lashes unlike a lot of my other- Oh my gosh, I'm gonna just barf from all this lag. Oh my gosh, stop it. Stop it, stop it. I don't like it. My fingers are tingling from the lag. Did you know that? I bet you didn't know that. Yeah, but you know what? Now it's late and I'm getting crazy. I'm sorry for that. I think I'm starting to mumble a little too, am I? I'm starting to mumble a little. Am I starting to mumble? And... Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna make it easier for you and me. And I will time-lapse pretty much all of the rest of it. Uh, I'll just tell you right now that uh, the line art part will be coming up pretty soon, which means I will make this a little dimmer so that I can draw over it. I'll put the smoothing on to S3. S makes it actually intentionally lag, but a nice kind of lag, not my terrible finger tingling computer lag. I'm gonna corrupt your file lag. And go to the brush tool. 
and find a thickness that looks like it'll fit. GB style, of course, will mean that more cartoonish, which means thicker lines usually, among other things, of course. And uh, uh, lag, I have two things connected at once. Not connected, selected. And possibilities brought to you by my computer. And anyway, I'm just gonna cover all of this stuff. I'll make my computer not lag. <laughs> That's a funny thing. My computer not lagging. That'll that'll be the day. And I'll see you when it's time to color. Enjoy the music and the uh, lagging. And I didn't actually start the video. Did I? I didn't start the video. I don't think I started recording. Uh, control F. And, uh, yeah, the part that actually got me to realize that this whole thing was not recorded was that I was like, okay, time to time lapse. And apparently, yeah. I was like, stop recording, but it actually started recording and it confused me, and then it went wow at the beginning of the video, and then I go, oh my gosh, why is he doing that weird noise, I don't like this guy. Alright, so I guess that concludes our chibi tutorial. Um, brief overview. Chibi's around uh, two and a half heads tall. Yep, very round head, more circular than egg shape. You have that uh, square upper torso. Crotch mark is 
just twice as far from the neck as the boob mark is. Uh, I'm super tired now. Um, okay. I, I don't think there's anything else to say. Um, sorry for not having more things to say during this video, but uh, if you're watching right now, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this is Budgies Are Cool, and take care.